Hey guys, this is Matt with Boreas Campers and we are out on site here in Buena Vista, Colorado. We're gonna do a quick run through on some of the exciting changes we have for the 2021 Boreas XT. We are gonna keep it brief today. Uh, it is below zero right now, uh, but keep an eye out for the full walkthrough video coming out shortly. One of the most notable changes we did was a full chassis redesign. And what that allowed us to do is combine all three of our models, XT, AT, and MXT, into a single chassis. So now everyone gets a two inch receiver up front for bikes, dirt bikes, and the spare tires move back to the side. One of the brand partnerships that we're really looking forward to in 2021 is with Cruise Master out of Australia. They've been building off-road trailer components for over 40 years and built some really high-end stuff. One of those components is the hitch coupler. We're running their DO35, uh, truly one of the easiest and most rugged multi-axis hitch couplers on the market. Uh, and on top of all that, the uh, hitch coupler will come standard with the parking brake. Another amazing company that we're looking forward to working with is Turn Overland and their series of Wildland doors. These are truly high quality and also high security, which we really like. Uh, they're all gonna come standard here with a stainless steel screen window. And another feature that I really like about it here is you have your first latch, but you also have the second one that sucks that door in, making sure everything is sealed and watertight. The real crown jewel of our 2021 upgrades is the Cruise Master CRS2 suspension. We're running the dual shock and coils on ours, and we have been truly impressed with the increased ride quality and compared to our uh, prior swing arm suspension. And we are also the first manufacturer in North America to be installing these on their campers. Last but not least, for 2021, we've upgraded from a 20 gallon water tank to a 30 gallon. The Bruder EXP4 is a globally available off-road expedition trailer like no other. Offering the versatility to suit solo adventurers, couples, families, the young at heart, commercial applications and extreme climates. Designed and engineered to excel in undulating off-road terrain, the Bruder EXP4 has nearly tripled the adjustable suspension travel of other off-road trailers and provides the EXP4 with performance, safety and control in levels never before seen. With up to 37-inch tyres fitted, the EXP4 has class-leading ground clearance and can calibrate suspension height to suit both standard SUVs or modified 4x4s. It also fits well within the width of tow vehicles and comfortably maintains contact with the ground on rutted off-road terrain. In extreme conditions, the Bruder suspension can even be used to lean over 11 inches to counteract a steep side slope or avoid overhanging tree branches. And 90 degree angles are also achievable behind popular tow vehicles. At the rear, a discreetly mounted recovery winch can be fitted and a roof-mounted carbon fibre housing with two stages of filtration is designed to keep the cabin pressurised during dusty travel. On-road performance is just as important to Bruder, so body shape and dimensions are aerodynamically assessed for maximum efficiency. Made out of closed-cell epoxy-bonded composite up to 60mm thick, the EXP4 is immensely strong and the most insulated trailer in its class. The body can also be made entirely out of carbon fibre. Camping has never been so easy. The rear door provides instant shelter over the huge EXP4 kitchen, and with the press of a button, the kitchen is level and at your chosen height. There's easy access to all areas and ample storage for both small and larger items, along with the niceties of soft closed drawers and stainless steel latches throughout. The kitchen also has design flexibility to accommodate a variety of fridges and cooktops, from induction, diesel or larger portable gas barbecues. For cold climates or extra privacy, the rear hatch can be fully enclosed, and walk-around coverage is also available with the electric awnings fitted on both sides. Plus, privacy booths are also available with the EXP4's built-in shower system, and there's dedicated storage for portable toilet systems. Inside, the bedding area is a huge 6 foot wide and over 7 foot long. Sleep blissfully in hotel comfort regardless of climatic conditions. 
Internal fans, roof mounted ventilation, interior heating and even air conditioning can be added. There's convenient access to large storage areas throughout for all personal items including hanging space for clothing. Internal sleeping space is so abundant that shelves or bunks for young children can be added and for larger families a four person rooftop tent can be fitted allowing the EXP4 to comfortably sleep a family of six or more. Two large storage locations are capable of holding bulky equipment safely in lockable locations. Truly versatile, the EXP4 roof is entirely free for storage. It can be fitted with roof racks, rooftop tents or even to accommodate a boat with dedicated racking systems available. And best of all, even with items stored on the roof, solar panels remain free from obstruction. The EXP4 represents Bruder's lifelong knowledge and passion for exploration. Not only is it the most capable and versatile off-road expedition trailer available, but also the quickest and easiest to camp with, allowing clients all over the world to explore secluded and beautiful destinations away from the crowds with absolute ease. Australian designed and built, the EXP4 is also globally available with Bruder shipping to clients all around the world. Hello, I'm Garrett Finney, founder and chief designer at Taxa Outdoors. I'm standing here in our factory parking lot in Space City, USA, and I'm excited to give you a, a tour of our Overland Edition of the 2021 Cricket. I'm here at the tongue of our Overland Edition Cricket, and I want to highlight the upgrades. There is a lock and roll hitch that gives you a 360 degree swivel articulation between the vehicle and the habitat. We sell the vehicle side too as part of the package. There's a swivel jack that adjusts for uh, pitching up and getting it level, but then it swivels out of the way to give you more attack angle when you're going farther off-road. Also, I can point out the heavy-duty stabilizer jacks. The Overland Edition has a four-inch lift on its axle um, and suspension. The heavy-duty jacks give you that extra four inches of stabilization and are heavy-duty. Okay, I'm at the wheel well of the Overland Edition of the Cricket. Um, we have a Cooper AT3 Discoverer tire that's sized at 225, 75, R16, a 16 inch alloy rim. The biggest difference is the four inch lift with the Timberin axle suspension. The Timberin gives you a great ride on dirt roads uh, and the axle part means that there's, in addition to the four inch lift, there's not a crossbar down below. So you have amazing ground fans. With our Overland Editions, you've got a choice of two exterior colors, the titanium or the white that all our 2021 models come in. Every Overland is marked with a special badge showing you've made this upgrade. The Cricut Overland Edition comes standard with a number of accessories that are options on our regular model. The Overland Edition includes two kids' berths, the soft goods package, which is an awning, screen doors, and a shower tent, a portable toilet, two Lee load bars, and a 16-inch spare tire with an alloy rim. The only options on the Overland Cricket include a 5000 BTU air conditioner. We're excited about our Overland Edition. We hope you are too. So give a Habitat Specialist a call or visit us on our website at taxaoutdoors.com. Thanks. Today, we're going to look at the five best mods for your Turtleback trailer. Our Turtleback trailers come built, ready for adventure. Having said that, there are a couple of modifications you can do to your trailer that will make your adventure easier and more comfortable allowing you to spend more time with your family and out on the trail. Our first modification is corner steadies. Corner steadies will keep your trailer steady, free from swaying and storms and strong gusts of wind. Easy to install and deploy with either the hand crank that it comes with or with a 19 millimeter socket and a drill. The second mod on our list are molly panels. The best way to keep tools organized and off the main compartment floor are molly panels. Perfect for tools, machetes, axes, and any other camping gear that you could possibly imagine. The best part about these molly panels is how easy it is to install and remove. Four screws hold the original panel. Once removed, use the same four screws to install the new molly panels. With molly panels, everything is organized and has its place. Our third modification is the shower bracket. Don't wait to get home to take a hot shower. Installing a shower bracket will allow you to install your choice of outdoor shower to the front of your turtleback trailer. The swing out feature allows you to deploy and retract the shower so that it's organized and easy to use. Coming in at number four is the fridge slide. Some campers like to put their fridge in the main storage compartment of their trailer. If that is you, the fridge slide is perfect for you. 
The fridge slide makes it extremely easy to access your fridge and will keep your fridge in place as you explore rough terrain. And last but certainly not least, number five, we have the guzzle system. This incredible modification will allow you to pull all 42 gallons of water from your water tank and filter it through a carbon filter and UV light filtering. Essentially with the guzzle system, you will be able to have 42 gallons of drinking water on your adventure, making it so that you could adventure further and longer than ever before. And that was five of our favorite modifications you can do to your Turtleback trailer. Because of how modular our trailers are, we just scratched the surface on modifications you can implement. If you have any modifications of your own, be sure to write them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to take life outside. Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2021, brought to you by the power of Redark. Today, we are looking at the Blue Water Lachlan Mark II, a vastly improved version of an already exceptional forward fold camper. Kath, in terms of the intended purpose and who's going to buy this camper, what was standouts for you? This is crying out for a family of four who want some fun in the sun. We've got a really well designed camper here. It's got a 2400 ATM, a, a Terra 1720, so you've got a 700 kilo payload there. But the, the real standout with this one was you don't expect to see something really new when you come to this style of camper. There's a lot of similar sort of designs and looks and feels. But here we walked up and the first thing we saw was a, a really really sensible tropical roof with spacer bars all the way across the frame kept that thing from flapping and that complemented with that 300 degree e-wing awning that they've uh, developed now, i haven't seen that before that has to be one of the best tropical flyers we've seen here now last time we looked at this lachlan a couple of years ago one of the comments was too many poles so the team have gone away and have they ever fixed that there's no poles inside Outside, that's four poles to get the E-wing up. That's their short stay. And that's four wings for a short person like me. Another four poles will get you the extended awning out. A really impressive approach. The other thing too was little attention to details. I don't know if you noticed near the kitchen area there, there was a little snake coil that had the water and the gas plumbing so that when you push that slide back in, you don't get that really unpleasant arrangement where everything gets tangled up in the drawer. This sort of technology, you see it all over the place in domestic settings, but you don't see it in camper trailers, a really nice touch. I don't know whether you're familiar with it, Tim, but Blue Water were the first to introduce this snake track to run their gas and their water lines. I'm surprised it isn't used in other camper trailers. And David, what about overall quality? Well, the overall quality is great. This is a camper that sits on a 150 by 50 by 3 chassis. The main body is all zinc and eel. It's primed and then two pack paint over the top. Front box is aluminium, obviously for weight. The basic chassis and bodywork comes in from overseas, but everything else is done here. This is all Australian suspension, gas, water, electricity, Australian canvas. And you can really see where the little touches come in and the ability to continually fine tune this. They're doing it incrementally as they're going along here in Australia. Glenn, does this translate in good off-road ability? Yeah, well, talking about the suspension, they're using an independent suspension, but they've included level coils and ride pro shocks, which improves that no end. Also changed the brakes to a 12-inch Holroyd brakes and drum system, which meant that it actually towed really, really well once when we took them on the test track. So Kath, one of the attributes I find really interesting is this camper has a really good warranty on its springs and shocks. It's got five years on the level supply springs and three years or 60,000 Ks on the Ride Pro shocks. Comfort wise, there's a Truma 14 litre hot water system that gets fed from the 50 litre and 110 litre uh, poly tanks and that was via a Seaflow pump. Uh, there were two 120 amp hour AGM batteries and the solar was easy to connect. The hot water is also uh, plumbed directly to the sink and to a, an external shower point. For ease of use, definitely not having to adjust any poles when setting up that camper makes it uh, a heck of a lot easier than a lot of the other forward fold campers that we saw today. And the kicker for me was that tropical roof, you know, it, it covered the whole canvas, the poles that kept it nice and taut, doesn't flap around, absolutely brilliant. So Tim, what were your thoughts on the X Factor and the value for money? From a value for money point of view, we're $42,500. So it's at the high end of an imported chassis and body. 
but that quality, like we haven't seen that quality before on a trailer like this. Like it's really good and the Aussie made canvas, big fan of that. The Thetford stove, the Lovell Springs, the Ride Pro shocks, I think it's actually very good value for money. The removal of those steps and the excellent heat and air management on the inside has to be the big X factor for me. Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2021, brought to you by the power of Red Arc. Today we're looking at the Opus OP4, a very unique camper in Australia with its inflatable awnings and main tent. I can recall when these things first came out and none of us believed that you could blow up a, a camper trailer. Hey, here we are now. I'm genuinely impressed. Okay, I find myself again underneath the camper. But the cabling's pretty tidy. Elsewhere. Off-road DO35. Can't beat it. No, one of the best uh, hitches you can get. Glenn, overall, the build quality and the finish, what were your thoughts? Oh, I thought that uh, Opus have done a really good job here. The neatness of the wiring and the plumbing, uh, the fridge box has got a fan on it that expels the heat, uh, that beautiful um, quality canvas that covers the whole camper, nice paint job, and uh, the, the 100 by 50 by 4 mil chassis, which is a lot of, different to a lot of other campers because a lot of them are only the 3 mil chassis, so it's, uh, yeah, that's definitely a stronger, stronger point. Good vent space and cutlery drawer. Access to your hoses and everything, plumbed cold water, good storage there and with the light, very functional. Dave, again just like the bare fridge, which is had a full fridge, single hand opening on this one, so a brace between the two latches makes this super easy. And I reckon you could put a generator on there if you wanted, so good amount of space. Well this is obviously a touring camper that's been designed for a family, uh, can sleep up to six if you want to uh, adapt the uh, internal lounge to bedding. I did appreciate the twin double beds um, and you can add that infill to make one of them into a king bed which handy for a person my size. You know the funny thing about those things I remember seeing those cotton internal uh, pods basically inside family tents back you know 30 odd years ago so it's, it's a well-worn track that they've taken there. So this is a they call it the bed pod right so the idea is is that it goes all around the mattress and you can zip it shut and it works as a midi screen what I like is though is that it gives a bit of privacy so if you have kids they could be in here sleeping and you could still be in the lounge and it would be a bit darker for them but private these moon roofs give you a bit of ventilation but if you also deflate the frame take the, um, the tropical roof off skylights it's aimed at those people that want to enjoy the outdoors, want to go camping, but they're not into the, the, all the work with the canvas and all the rest of it. They just want to throw a switch and stand back and watch this happen. And it is truly amazing if you've never seen it before. Um, it was seven minutes from start and to kitchen out, awning up, tent in place, ready to go. You know, I've got uh, two by 80 litre poly tanks there for, the, for water and they're plumbed separately so you can do one for drinking water or one for uh, non-potable water. And it does come with a sea flow pump for picking up water from creeks to fill one of those tanks or to run your hot water system if you had one endlessly, which I was a big fan of. It's got 200 amp hour batteries, uh, AGM batteries um, to keep the power going, uh, space for two 9 litre uh, LPG bottles, which a lot of you know, campers these days are only 4.5 kilo and space for two jerry cans as well so it's 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 fairly well fitted for that for the off-road stuff and packing it down is something we don't often address it was just as easy you just simply open the valve the whole thing went down and you just pick it up and kind of chuck it into the trailer all the canvas is very loose yeah so the poles obviously well the lack of poles means there is no wrong way to just Correct. push it all in you can't rip anything flow. you can't catch anything if a kid did puncture it, I reckon it would be a pretty easy fix. It's a very capable off-road camper. Um, it's coming in at a price point that's available to, you know, a range of people within the market, families, couples, etc. But I think the real X factor obviously here for the Opus is that inflating tent. It's certainly one of those campers where when you roll into camp at the end of the day, people are going to be standing around and watching. <laughs>